Hey guys! So, it's Gabby, and I'm about to go to work, which is why I'm in my trusty blue button-up. Um, but I thought I would do a quickie review on um, accessories that you can use in your car to listen to your iPod, iPhone, media player, whatever, over the radio. <clears throat> so, the first thing that I bought when I got a car, which was about a year ago, was this. You plug this into the... Um, cigarette lighter if you have one a lot of cars have fake ones now if because a lot of people don't smoke anymore but if you're buying like a used car most likely it's gonna have a cigarette lighter so you plug that in you put your thing in there and it hooks up through that that hooks up into your iPod or your iPhone and um, you can adjust that this thing to the size of it so that it stays secure and then you use these buttons right here to pick a radio station and then you turn your car radio to that radio station and it should play your iPod or iPhone over the radio of the car. Now, does it do that? Yeah, it does. Uh, does it do it well? In my opinion, absolutely not. I found that when I do it, I get a lot of static. Um, sometimes the radio will feed in through the, um, the sound of my music and in general it just like wasn't a pleasant experience using this because of that and nobody wants to listen to their music and hear all that static like that's worse than listening to the radio with all the commercials so this one for me is a no-go I do not recommend this kind um, I think they're pretty much crap and uh, yeah no thanks I'm sorry I don't know the brand that this is because I didn't keep the box Oh, it's Duracell. It says it on it right there. Do you see that? Duracell. It might be flipped. But, um, yeah, the Duracell car thing, not for me. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is a, I think they're called AC adapter, AV adapter. It's basically a cord, and you have to have a certain plug in your car. And it's more for, like, um, more modern cars. So if you bought a used car or a new car, um that is more recent, maybe in the 2000s, since the iPod and stuff has been invented, it might have the plug-in. I would check before you bought an AC, AV adapter, whatever they're called. Um, but basically you just plug one end into the um, that little plug, and you plug the other end into whatever you want to play your music from. And that works really well. It really does. My boyfriend has that. Um, his mother has that, and they've never had a single problem with it. Um, it, it works great, really. Um, the only problem with it is if you're like a teenager or something and you're buying an older car, you might not have access to that, and if this is your only other option, then you're pretty much screwed if you want to listen to your own music in your car, unless you make your own CDs, but who has time for that, or money to, like, transfer music that you already bought onto a CD so just so that you can listen it into your car. Uh, so what I got, and my dad had this before, so I know it works. I haven't taken this one out of the box. Uh, this is a cassette adapter. So if you have an older car that has a cassette player that works, check that because not all of them work anymore. Um, you can get this, and it has the cord like the AC adapter does. But instead of being just a double-ended cord where you plug the one end into there and the other end into the other thing, you uh, just plug it into your iPod and the headphone jack, and then you pop this into the cassette player, and it works beautifully. Like, you can adjust the music over the car radio, you can adjust the music on your iPod, which is great, because if you're driving, you don't want to toggle with your iPod. Like, that's a really big driving hazard. And then if you're a passenger who's doing it, you know, maybe they are they don't want you to turn the music down. Maybe the driver's like, yeah, pump it up. And you're like, no, let's turn it down. You're driving too crazy. So you can hold the iPod and just turn it down and you don't have to, whatever, fight, I guess. I don't know. Maybe people do that. Maybe people don't. Um, but yeah, so I got the Scotia brand, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm pretty sure that it is the same brand as my father, and I got it at Staples, and it was recommended to me, so I think it's going to work fine. This is uh, universal, and uh, oh, it's recyclable, too. 
because it's plastic. So that's great, good for the environment. If it breaks on you, please recycle. And um, it has quality sound. And it only cost me like $14, which if you think about it, if you don't have that much music, I guess it might be worth it to just, you know, buy a CD for a buck, a blank CD for a buck, and, you know, make your driving playlist in there. But if you know that you're a person who downloads music all the time and is constantly changing it, this, that, the other thing, and you're going to want to play it all the time, like, it can really add up to keep making CDs. So this is my recommendation. And uh, it's pretty cool because you can just set up a playlist before you leave and you can just jet off and go. But um, it's time for me to head to work now and try this out. Ah. And so I will see you guys later. Have a great day.